I'm Dr. Robin Goodman, and I'm here to talk to you about how to help children navigate the holidays when there's a divorce or it's a split family. I think anyone who's in that situation is already dealing with a stressful situation, um, and they're trying to figure out the best way to handle any everyday situation, not just a holiday situation with children. I think the number one thing that parents need to think about is that it's about the children and not about them. It probably goes for everything about the divorce or the split or whatever is going on. But if they can keep that in mind, that will help them. So whenever there's tension between the adult parties for the holidays, they can think about, but what's best for my children and hopefully have a little bit of a truce um, for the holidays, if not the whole year. Now, when it comes to the holidays for children um, that are in these kind of situations, you have to remember it may be a little different whether it's the first holiday or if it's the 10th or the 20th holiday. Um, there may be more raw new feelings that the kids are struggling with and that you're still maneuvering and navigating, or it may be some past things that are still unresolved for the family and the children. So think about what stage you're at and what um, stage your children are at in accepting and understanding the situation. The next thing, you always have to realize that age makes a difference. A two or three or a five-year-old that has to figure out how to go back and forth and um, plan different places to stay and be is a little different than a teenager who may be having their own sense of independence and wanting to make some decisions about that. So again, think about this in terms of the age of your child, not just the situation that presents itself. Now, when you're thinking about what exactly to do with the holidays, first of all, think about um, what's the most important thing. Um, is it the tradition? Is it the time together? Is there something that for your family or one person's family is so important that you want to have your children there for it? Um, but that may be in conflict with another parent's traditions. And at the end of the day, you want to think about um, what can I give up or negotiate um, in terms of what might just be easiest for the children. Again, think about what might be um, uh, what you want to always keep in mind is that children sometimes feel, feel very conflicted themselves. They sometimes want to please everybody, and so you have to be very careful about making sure that whatever happens, whatever decisions are made, you will support those children in that decision, and that everybody will be positive. Because when you model a positive, accepting solution to what can be a stressful situation, then it shows children that you'll be there for them in a very non-judgmental, positive, supportive way. One thing you can always consider is involving the children and giving them choice. Now you want to make sure that the choice is a realistic choice. It may not be, do you want to go to mom or do you want to go to dad? But if the parents have decided part of the day is with mom and part of the day is with dad, maybe the children get to decide what they do when they're there, or what time they go. So it, that may be something where they get to feel that they were part of this and they still have a say in what's happening in their life with the family. You know, in spite of whatever you do, I think you always want to be prepared that the holidays can be stressful. Um, there may be some new um, difficult emotions and tensions that arise. And as long as you communicate with each other in terms of the adults, that will help the children. And you also want to be careful that you minimize whatever additional stress there is by planning ahead, um, thinking about not making too many new changes, not necessarily introducing a new partner into the situation for the first time. So I think you want to help plan and be careful careful about how you consider your children's feelings um, first, even though it may be a special time for you and you may be excited about something new in your life. Children often need the routine and the predictability um, of a holiday and a tradition when other parts of their life have now become um, a little more unpredictable.